Ah, ah, mellow ship. Nice little toe tapper. We're a very rhythm oriented band and that it's really important for me to be as solid as possible. I, you know, I can't play too busy. Uh, it's just about driving the groove home, making it hypnotic so people are like dancing in the last row, wherever, and just really driving it home really hard. I know it's, it's been said, but it, 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 it can't be said enough. It's so important because that is, every good band always has a really good solid drummer. So that's really important. Uh, I'm also going to talk about uh, what Flea and I do and how we play off each other, how we come up with parts. Uh, we're going to jam a little bit on some, some other old tunes. And uh, just basically uh, the rhythm section and how we work together and how we come up with tunes and ideas. And uh, we're going to jam. So uh, here's Flea! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome everyone down to the show today. <laughs> this is Chad Smith's drum instructional video. My name's Flea. This is Chad. Hi, Flea. Hey, Chad. How you doing? Great. How are you? I'm wonderful, thanks. So what did Tarzan say when he heard the elephants, saw the elephants coming over the hill? What did Tarzan say when he saw the elephants coming over the hill? I think he said... You don't know what he said. He said, there goes a bunch of elephants. And what did he say when they came back later and they were all wearing sunglasses? He didn't recognize them. <laughs> That's right. He didn't recognize them. He didn't recognize them, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, comedy hour's over. <laughs> so now we're gonna play a little number for you. Tasty little ditty. A little toe in. tapper? It's a real zingy little zesty zany zingy number that uh, we think will really get your blood boiling and your testicles quaking. It's called Naked in the Rain. Ready?
Now, for my thing, what I'm listening to <laughs> do with Flea is like I'm trying to hit all of his accents with the kick drum. It's pretty much following what he's doing. So I'm really locking in, thinking about all of his notes and trying to put the kick with what he's doing. That's what I'm listening to, and that's why it comes out the way it does. Should we show it to them really slow? Let's give it to them slow. One, two, three. Uh. Fancy uh, kick drum work. Did you see that? See, not a double pedal, it's one pedal. Don't try that at home, kid. You may hurt yourself. Grew up in Detroit, Michigan, the lovely Motown. And I was very influenced by uh, all the stuff on the radio. And I started playing the drums when I was seven. And my father went to like a Baskin Robbins ice cream type place and went in the alley and stole like the big, you know, the, the things that you scoop the ice cream out of. And uh, that was my first drum set with these little Lincoln Log, little children's play drumsticks. So I started out with the finest equipment and, uh, and that's how I really, you know, progressed so quickly at an early age. But uh, uh, from, from then, I basically played in like school bands and stuff and never really took any formal lessons. Mostly my, my real influences were just listening and playing with, with other people on other records. Like I played, I jammed with Led Zeppelin, I jammed with Black Sabbath, I jammed with Hendrix, I jammed with The Doors and um, Motown, uh, Iggy Pop, there's like Sly and the Family Stone, James Brown, all these, all these people. I'd put the headphones on and I'd play along to them and the really important thing that I tried to do is because there's so many different styles there is I really tried to get in to the feel of what these drummers were how they were you know injecting their personality into their bands like when Bonham you know was like a big influence and my brother I listened to all his records because I didn't have any so he's to blame but I had some pretty cool influences but with Bonham it was just he was so funky like most people don't think of John Bonham's like a funky drummer but he was like really funky and thrifty with his parts and just, you know, with the heavy foot. Uh, so I try to sound like John Bonham when I play with Led Zeppelin, you know, and, and then when I go and, and say play with, you know, uh, you know, any, any of the groups that, I, that I'd emulate, I'd really try to sound like the drummer and, and therefore with the different styles, 
try to plug into what they were doing. So that that was a big uh, learning thing for me, and it, it was really fun. I used to drive my mom crazy. You know, she'd be like flashing the light on and off in my bedroom, <laughs> you know, and I'd be like, oh, oh, and I'd be in this trance, you know, because I was just I was like in the band. It was great. Um, so one another real.